Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 80 of Starbound! God, if I knew I was going to get 80 episodes, jeez, <laughs> I had no idea I'd be playing Starbound for so long. Feels good, man. Anyway, last episode, we added this entire bottom portion to the base. This was incredibly important because we need way more storage, like way, way, way more storage. But I know I've been doing a lot of building, and I even broke it up with a little bit of questing. But we, on our ship, went to a new planet. We also picked up a bunch of crap from the other base, I guess I should say. But we went to a new planet, and our ship is hovering over that. And it wouldn't be a bad idea. I, I also think it wouldn't be a bad idea if I were to, like, keep some coal with me for, you know, torches. But it wouldn't be a bad idea to go explore that planet and kind of, like, sweep the surface, see what I can, uh, can and can't find. I don't need a single fired clay. Uh, see what I can and can't find on the planet's surface. Uh, looking for, like, manipulator modules, tech cards, which I don't really need tech cards. Or I don't really need manipulator modules as much anymore, but I wouldn't mind upgrading the optics, which it does say it well, increases the effective manipulator range, so I wonder if that means I can place objects from further away, because that would be interesting. That'd be pretty cool, actually. So, I kind of want to do that. Let's do that. Let's get into our ship. Just like a, a slight break from building, maybe we can find some plants and other things like that that I don't have, but it's one of those uh, very, very burnt planets, and I suspect all I will be finding is chili seeds. Do I have... Wasn't there the... Hold on, because we have like all this at all of our bases, which is fantastic. We have all of these different stations. Isn't there... What's the... That gives me a run boost. Two... Okay. I wouldn't mind getting more petals. Like going to like some foresty planets. Petals, surprisingly enough, have been a very... I don't know. Limited resource for me. I have a fair amount of all this. Can I even make sand? Do I have sand on me? I don't. Uh, petals have been a rather limited resource, which is really weird. Uh, I needed two of those, two of these, the glass, because I have to make the syringe, and I think I make the syringe here. So the medical syringe, because, you know, nothing like shooting up before we do this. That, that's that's not weird or anything. Green stim pack and a single piece of phase matter, which I do have in here. So now, now here's, a, here's an interesting predicament. Uh, we have different resources in different places. Like, do we want to primarily focus on leaving things on our ship? Do I want to primarily focus leaving things on my colony? Do I want to split the stacks? How do I want to split up my inventory? I do not know. But there's a single green stim pack. And yes, I know ape crepes will be giving me that boost too. But I figure, why not try a stim pack to see if it lasts longer? I don't know. That just helped me zip across the surface of the planet. I, I figured we have the resources. Why not have some fun with them? Ooh, we have a fancy one already. We have chest and shit. It's like there's the chili. That's what I'm talking about. I'm hungry. Ape grapes give me my, my run speed. You, I don't have in my arsenal. So, first things first. Did I sell my assault rifle on accident? I think I may have sold my assault rifle on accident. That or I may have stored it. I, I gotta look at my, my uh, inventory up here. And I don't have the... I wonder, I wonder where I put it. Uh, I, I was like, I need to weaken this dude so it's easier to capture. Yeah, I, I, I don't know where that may have gone. Ips. So, what that means is we use the gnome gun to weaken you. I wanted to use that rifle to weaken him. Oh, no, I don't even have the capture pods on me. Shit. They're on my pl you know, we, we didn't do anything yet. <laughs> Let's see. Can I, can I get some capture pods? I mean, that's a new NPC. I don't recall ever capturing that dude. Uh, these are all filled capture pods. Most of these dudes are dead. The one, the, they're in like one of these chests right there. Those capture pods. See, yeah, I have no idea where I put my... I don't want you to follow me. I have no idea where I put that weapon, which kind of sucks. It's something out of the world. I don't think I sold the rifle. And if I did, it'd be hilarious. But, yeah, it's a bit annoying. Okay, I don't need the rifle. I, I, I honestly, honestly do not need the rifle. It's useful, but I don't need it. <laughs> and then we got makes it really easy to weaken NPCs, so I'm okay with this. I guess we'll go pick this up. I don't know if I want to go right or if I want to go left. I mean, I guess if there's these chests here, I should pick this up. I already have one of those, but that's something at least I can sell. I'll take it. Magma Rock. I don't really want to be picking up all of these resources. Uh, why are you in there? I already have a Crab Kano thingy, I think. So I'll just gnome gun you to death. <laughs> Give me the chili. Where's the chili seeds? Did I really not get a chili seed out of that? That's weird. Uh, I feel like this NPC here here's a dime a fucking dozen. I'm gonna ignore him. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't really need you, dude. Uh, holding alt just to look around. Obviously attempting to find those chests. That's sort of why we're here, too. Is that a lot of lava? Oh my god, that is all lava. Wow. Damn. This planet seems to have more lava than the other one did. You seem like you're a dime a dozen, so I'll butcher your ass. This is bad news. 
This is bad news. <laughs> if I if I would have died there, it wouldn't have been the end of the world compared to where we died before. The problem with where I originally died forever ago with lava was the fact that it was at the bottom of the planet and you couldn't touch the bottom two tiles. Like this I could dig through, but oh my god, that was a nightmare. You know what? That'll drain it. I don't need the lava and I, I, lava, I can make lava infinite. That's a good way to just clear a pool. I just thought of that. I mean, like, I know that works, but when you find one of those big pools in particular, shit, just dig the backdrop. That just goes into the ether, disappears. Holding alt, looking around here. There is, like, legit a lot of lava on this planet. I, I know that seems silly, but... Like, silly to say, but holy shit. Okay. Ooh, what's this? I might find the, I might find the glitch, people. Beware of heat hazards. Can I capture... Oh, no, I need the bug net. I need to look into this. I need to look into making the bug net. You know what? I think before I get too involved... What is it, on the foraging station and the agricultural station? I haven't messed around with these bugs at all. Do I require a jar, or do I just put them in a jar after I capture them? I've, I've never I've never messed with this. What is it? Um, bug net. Timber and string. Strangely enough, I don't have any timber on me. Oh, well, that'll take care of that little problem. And string. No, no, this, this station right here. String. Let's whip up a little bit of that. I guess I should pre-craft some uh, bottles, just in case you need to have those. Like, I don't know how this works. This is a mechanic that is unfamiliar to me, and I want to learn for science reasons. Sadly, it's like, what, two? Yeah, two, two glass to one bottle. It's not a lot. So, bug net. A net for catching bugs. Hunt insects down, capture them, and grow your collection. And there's a fishing rod I've never made. So that's sick, uh, what, five synth synthetic material? Which is poison and tons and tons of coal. Can I store any coal in here? No, all my poisons. We can do that later. Uh, yeah, okay, I have the bug net and I have the bottles. Time to figure out how this shit works. I've, I've never done this before. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've messed with bug nets in like Terraria, but I've never messed with them in Starbound. There's the whole collection thing here. Right here, like all these, these are all bugs, 42 different bug types. I am curious to see what this is all about. Ooh, that's where the chili seed went. The fuck, man? Oh, you're hostile. I want the other weird looking dude. I've, I've already got one of you. Was it you? No, it wasn't you. That's just the noise I imagine the gnome makes. Well, I got the jump boost. Let's use that. That's just the noise I imagine the gnome makes. <laughs> As you use him to attack things. Why did I randomly take an ass load of damage after I was already out of it? <laughs> what? Whatever. Uh, like that right there. I don't know what that is. How do I... Do I have to capture... I, I hit him, and it hurt him. You bastard! <laughs> How do I capture that thing? I'm getting hurt so much. Hey, look at this weird thing. What the fuck? Do I have to do it multiple times? Okay, this is clearly not working. This is, this is clearly not working. And I have these bottles... Don't I? Like, what do you do? C empty bottle. It says it's a. I oh, know it's a crafting material. Do you have to make a bug jar? I mean, maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm missing something. Let me go look at the crafting benches. Well, well I mean, I, I'll explore this planet one day. <laughs> this, this sort of, uh, I don't know. I don't know. This changed. Bug, 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 like bug jar, cape. No. Bug net. There's a relocator for the aminals. Huh. No, none of that. Like, what am I? Is it like a percentage? A net for catching bugs, hunt insects down, capture. Maybe that's just one I can't capture, or I'm straight up doing it wrong. I might have to look this up between this episode and the next. I mean, it's not like I'm going to leave this planet, or at least I'm not capable of coming straight back to it or finding these dudes on my own planet. But we saw some funky trees over there. We saw a hazard sign. I suspect we might have that glitch village. Um, that's why we came to the volcanic planet anyway. You are weird as fuck looking. I, I guess I could, I guess I could capture you too. <laughs> got chicken out of that. Uh, here, let's just drain the shit. You back off. This has been a thorn in my side for too long. There are two sources with which this is draining at. I'm hoping this helps increase the speed at which it drains by digging multiple spots. I don't know how completely how this weird lava mechanic works. But I'm genuinely sick of dealing with it. <laughs> Here, I'll give you another escape route. 
you can you can you can drain to the backdrop. You can also fall over here if you ever pass if you ever make it there. Okay, can you can you just leave lava? Now, this is like the biggest fucking pool of lava I've ever seen ever. <laughs> it's annoying me. I don't see that one dude that I originally wanted to capture. It feels bad, man. Okay, are, 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 we, are, we, are we good? I mean, if I jump now, I'm, go I'm definitely gonna get hit. I'm definitely gonna get hit. Well, you know, you know what? Like, the power of science. I'll put floating dirt blocks here and there, and I'll just jump over it. That'll drain eventually. That's been a thorn in my side for far too long. Far too long. Okay, you. I don't think are hostile, but I'll kill you anyway. Because I feel like the young fish shenanigans. I know you're hostile. Rip. Oh my god. The lava's like, do you want to go for a s- I'm sorry. The sword's like, do you want to go for a swim? And it just put me right in front of that. Salve. Just heal the minor wounds. It's like these little- these little dudes. Do you have to like get the arc perfect or- I think I'm just straight up missing something. They take like damage, but they don't take damage. You know? It makes that noise. So I- I just straight up don't think I'm doing something. I think I'm missing a part of this. <laughs> So goofy. Well, I've examined that. What kind of trees are these? Are they gonna be like logs? Metal coated wood. That is an interesting noise. Listen to it. It's very metallic, as the the name would imply. And I don't seem to be getting a sapling for it. It's a really interesting noise. Yeah, it's, that sucks. I mean, I'm missing something. Damn. Uh, oi, oi, can, I can totes jump right here. Oh my goodness. You're gonna make me use my platforms. Oh, I shouldn't have used a platform. I forgot it was all ash. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> the trees stay here because they, they can't fall. Gravity doesn't affect... Gra gravity's weird with trees. And if I touch this stuff, it's gonna fall. See? Like, oh, I'll take this metal-coated wood. I wonder what I can make out of this stuff. I wonder what it looks like placed. Where is it? It, it, it is giving me metal coated wood. Where, where is it at? My inventory. Is it a material? Oh, okay. A metal coating over wood like material. And you can't use it as a block. I'm curious to see what structures I can make out of this. And it sucks I'm not getting a sapling. How do I how do I make more of this? Hmm. I feel like this is leading into a glitch village though. Why would there be this this type of wood? Metal glitches and weird shit. I, I, I don't know. I'm seeing some similarities here. Yep. You are humans. Are you hostile? Trees here are a renewable source of organic metal. What a great place for a great place for a foundry. What do you mean it's a renewable place? How is it renewable? I saved you already. Calm down. Is it over? Yes, it's over. I'm talking to you. They both have the same thing. Ooh, solarium. That's right, we're on that right planet. Uh that, okay, okay, so you have to there's only one button to press, really? Is is that how this works? You guys are dumbasses. Unless they're cover they're covering the button. That works too. I'm here to keep things peaceful. You're welcome to look around, just don't cause any trouble. What am I coming across? Also, how the fuck do I make this renewable like they're talking about? All this ash, jeez. These trees are cool though. I've I have i have gotta say. What the fuck is that? That's awesome! Um, let's see. Why can't I go to the right tab? You guys are all good still? Ape grips it is. Throwable blocks. Yep. Medkits are great. Solarium. A giant tank in contains molten liquid inside. Same speech thingy here from him. Working this foundry has given me arms of steel. I'm not someone to mess with. You're okay. Oh, I'll take that. Get him. <laughs> I want to break this, but I don't want to piss them off too much. Any more of these people? This is intriguing, if nothing else. The gnome gun still, it's got some kick to it. It's not the greatest thing ever, but it's hilarious to use. And it's really great when there's lines and lines of enemies. Stat penetration, though. More humans. Okay, same dialogue. Hey, you, you come over here. Don't, don't kill my humans. Ooh, stick a ram. I have no idea what that, that'll be used for. A hefty girder. An elevator for getting up and down. This is a cool little elevator. I wonder if I can make that. Uh, these must be a pair of foundry bellows. Ah, <laughs> that's the hat they're wearing. Foundry hard hat. I'll take the chest. Foundry hard hat. 
This is an interesting little set piece, if nothing else. Never seen anything quite like this. I'm sorry, guys. You came here for the trees, and I'm just all like, nah, man. They're my trees. Get fucked. Let's not break our legs. I don't want to get fucked. What's that? Oh, that's just a robot enemy. I think I fought something similar to that before. Uh, come on. Oh, that's right. The ash. Yep. I was going to, uh, you know, <laughs> kill that dude, but now I have to deal with this. You just get out of here. Blah. Get puked on. Get no get gnome puked on. Not just any puke. It's it's the puke of a gnome. It's rainbow colored. Hey you. I don't know what you are, but you want to die? Yeah, I, I should capture you. I should capture you. Hey, don't, hey, don't die. Get over here. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Bobot. Bobot added to pets collection. Nobody knows where it came from or who made it. Well, it's mine now. <laughs> I figured I'd use this opportunity to catch some interesting looking enemies. Maybe I could even catch those little like sentinel kind of things. Makes me think Halo. Halo. Oh man. The good old days. I remember remember playing Halo for the first few times. Feels feels amazing, man. Uh Lava, I'm sorry, but just again, piss off. There's there's there's, there's a little too much on this planet for my liking. I'm holding alt here, not seeing Jack Diddly. No surprise there. You all need to go. Lava hurts a lot. And I know I can dig it up too. Like, pick it up myself, but I also can get rid of it this way. <laughs> There's many ways to go about it. Yeah, 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 you would touch the last little bit of it. Of course I would. That's just how this works. Hey, you. You're not the unique enemy that I want. I only have one more capture pod use. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's just the noise I imagine it makes. It's disgusting, I know. It's great. Come on, lava. Get the hell out of here. Healing salve. Um, really? No, no, no. I, I, I. Use. Get out of my inventory. Okay, there's a chest down there. You gotta go, buddy. I know for a fact you're hostile. You don't like me. Hey, buddy. I don't even know what just hit me. Did I really just land on that little patch of lava? How'd I fit in there? It's only a one. It's, it's only a one block open space. Your character takes two. Mollies and some synthetic bandages. That's cool. No chest down there. There's that enemy that I wanted to capture. That weird looking, like, gorilla with, like, coral for a tail. It's, a, it's an interesting looking enemy. We'll go with that. I will capture him. Or at least attempt to. And maybe I should even move the bug net off, because the bug net doesn't seem to be doing anything, because I am clearly not using it correctly. You, sir. Hold still. He's like... His belly almost reminds me of, like, a Togepi or, like, a Yoshi in an egg kind of thing. Uh, you, you ready? To, you ready to go, bud? <laughs> what? What do you call Unknown. Some indescribable horse. It doesn't have a name yet. Yeah, trees are these. Just regular old trees again, with no sapling. Anything down there? Oh, yep, there is indeed. I want that. I want all of the surface chests because all the random loot. I mean, if every chest we open, we have a chance to get another funny legendary weapon, and we have the gnome gun. I guess that means chest farming is legitimately a thing. Uh, is that those lava balloons? Lava balloon, yep. Well, that sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> hey, buddy, catch! <laughs> Blood curdling screams ensue. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of what that sounds like to me. Not a good idea. I have no more capture pods, so nobody's getting captured. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Lava balloons, more of these fancy looking chests. I can pixel print them, so I guess I don't really need them. That was some horrible placement, I know. I kind of held click and I went like this. Don't give me an avian thingy. Please don't be- Yes! No, no, I thought it might have been a glitch village. I saw the hay bale. Damn it. I don't want the avian village. I already found like 12 of these. Avians have been great warriors since time immemorial. These bricks uh, look ancient, intricate- uh, I want to examine this. It's a spooky face on the bottom. Very smashable wicker basket. I'm sorry, dude. I guess I can't do that. You do get pretty angry with me doing that stuff. Um, there's a chest down there. I don't want to piss you off for breaking your blocks, so... Kind of annoying that I find an avian village on a planet that I specifically went out of my way to go to to look for a glitch village, but okay. Manipulator module. And before this dude gets super mad that I broke his chest. Y y you okay, man? You're y you forgive me? Well, I'll steal your stuff. You don't have anything to steal. Get out of here. Oh, something hit a gong. I was going to say, what the hell is that noise? I'm naked! I hope your time here is pleasant. Well, as long as you don't attack me, it should be. 
It'd be more pleasant if this was a glitch village than what you guys you guys have going on. Nah, can I loot these things? I forget. One of them it let me interact with. Nah. Dong. Dong. Hey, look, those uh, petal tree thingies. Ah, <laughs> microphone. No, take all. Dude, it just eviscerates them. It's great. The gnome gun's fun. Never a challenge for an avian? Dude, you didn't do anything, okay? You literally didn't- I, I just spewed all over that enemy. You didn't, you didn't even contribute. Okay, it was Bukake without you. It was all me. I'm the one doing the- That's all me. All me. Excuse me, bird peoples. Anything else to loot? Nothing really unique to examine. Minus some pots that I'm smashing. I want to make sure I get all the stuff like this, like rooster thingy. This weather pane, maybe. It's a weather vane. Yep. Okay, I said weather pane. That was a joke. I hope you understand. The stone mural describes an ancient avian temple filled with treasures. Huh. Huh, indeed. Weather veins, weather pains, potato, potato. If you say potato, you're an idiot. <laughs> Who says potato? Who says that? Who says that? I've just offended like 12 people. 1,200 people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Or am I? I don't know. I don't know what he said. It's something about getting along. I hope we can get along. No, we won't get along. I'm here to steal all your stuff, dude. Hey... Yeah, I get it. You're beating on the drum. Calm down. The gong. Stop. Loot. Uh, I think I've, I feel like I've already read these, but I might be wrong. Okay, that's two. That's one. We'll read them in order. Maybe I didn't do these. A ship going around and around a planet looks. Uh, looking at this is making me dizzy. Brainwaves. Who do they belong to? Gliss. My translator can't read them. And I've already examined the other ones. An access panel with a bunch of avian symbols on it. I'm just gonna hit it. Nothing that I'm noticing anyway. All right, looks like we have some reading to do. Yolo tills, yolo tills, yolo tli, yolo tli, yolo tli, yolo tli's diary entry. I, I guess I should consume foods before I die. That'd, that'd be a good thing. Uh, I'll check out the first one. Uh, let's see here. Today, Stargazer Zolan sent for me, and he gave me the most incredible news. I'm the I'm to be the next cycle's ascendant. I couldn't believe it. He had to reassure me several times that he hadn't made a mistake. I was so shocked to be deemed worthy. Zolan said, by the word of Cluix, you were worthy. He told me Cluix came to him in a star dream, just as he does each cycle, and this time he asked for me. Hearing that was almost too much. I have been chosen by Cluix himself. I felt lightheaded, almost as though I might spiral, uh, spiral skywards right there. I think that means he's being made, made a sacrifice and he's dying. Because the bird people are weird. Uh, diary entry number two. I spend so much of my time in the temple now, I've never felt closer to Cluix. Each day we pray and chant, and I am anointed. Anointed? I don't know what that means. I am anointed. Never heard that word before. I found myself at the altar today and ran my hand along the blood stains on a surface so fresh from sacrifices of recent battle. It was the it was it was wonderful. The sensation almost electric. The blood of brave warriors, our noble enemies, set afloat to satisfy our mighty and wondrous God. Yeah, this is getting weird. Soon, yep. Soon my essence will join Cloix just like theirs, but mine, mine goes willingly. It makes my heart light to think that I can help to ensure the eternal happiness of Cloix. God, you fucking bird people. Come on, this is just weird. This is getting really weird. Come on. Uh, after nine days uh, uh, elapsed, we feast. Every nine days, I've never eaten so well in my life. The preparation, uh, the preparation is even more gratifying than the food. The attendants come and help me bathe, and then once I'm dried, my crest, my crest feathers are leafed with cold. Oh my! My beak is buffed and polished too, so it, so, uh, so that it shines brightly in the firelight. While all this is being done, pine oil is applied to my feathers so thickly that they feel almost lacquered by the end of it. Pine oil is such a, a, heat, a heady scent, it makes me smell like the purest air high above the mountains. And here comes the last entry. This will be weird. Uh-oh. Tomorrow's the festival and my ascension. I can't stop going over it in my head. I will rise before dawn, woken by Stargazer Zolan himself, and then he and I will pray together. After that, the attendants join us, and I will be anointed in the oils again. Once the oil is applied, gold dust is brushed throughout my feathers. It's the gold dust that will make me glitter like the heavens once I get, up, uh, get outside amongst the lanterns. It makes me nervous that such a large crowd will be lining the streets. So much attention, but proud, too. Stargazer Zolan and the lesser priest will escort me uh, in the procession, procession, um, pr procession God damn it, English, to the uh, the base of the Celestial Tower, and then the others will fall away. Then Stargazer Zolan and I will proceed up the tower alone, followed by the attendants. When we reach the top of the tower, the Stargazer will speak the words of Cluix, and as the sun rises, I'll leap. So he offs himself. That's weird. 
I can't wait to spread my wings and greet the air, my body falling away beneath me. Uh, I give it so happily. Once it lands, it will be taken and treated and placed in the tomb stacks amongst the vessels of my fellow ascendants. I can barely take an interest in it. Uh, I, I, can, I can barely take an interest in it? What? My soul, my essence, my very self will be untethered, free to soar, to join Cluix as part of a whole. I hear the wind calling me. It is Cluix's voice. So, what I'm getting out of this is they just literally jump off the edge and go fucking splat. But they're bird people and they can fly? Well... Or could, could fly inside. I'm not getting a quest from this planet. We're, we're not going to stay here for long, I don't think. Unless there's a glitch village. So they literally just jump over the edge and fucking splat. What the hell? What is wrong with these morons? That is, that is the most idiotic thing I've ever heard. You're bird people, and you're going splat? What the fuck? They're doing it wrong. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it does look like it's time to wrap the episode up here, guys, though. Episode 80. Bird people are weird. Don't, don't know. What the fuck, bird people? Um... <laughs> Still looking for that glitch village. Did not find the glitch village. Found an avian village instead. But I mean, so what? We'll, we'll examine things. We'll read things. We'll we'll get free loots. All that jazz. And we'll probably have to hop to a new planet. Should be fun. Thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you next time.